Uh, okay, now I'm gonna make you a video, and uh, so you know how to assemble and uh, use the laser machine. Uh, generally, this is how the machine looks like, and uh, the front, of course, you need to put this cover back, and uh, on the side is uh, this cover. And uh, generally, uh, if you find something can point. This one is we call it the motherboard. It actually is a, a DCP controller, digital signal processor, and uh, this is the power supply to supply the power to the motherboard, and uh, this is another power supply to supply power to the stepper motor drivers. And uh, here I have two filter for current. That uh, one is for each power supply, and uh, this is a laser power supply. For your case, it's uh, a 90 watt. And uh, here have a relay is to control the some water cooling stuff need I talk about. Now, when you receive the machine, uh, you need to connect the cooling. This is a cooler for your 80 watt tube. It's already connected. And uh, later, um, I think tomorrow morning, I'm gonna pack this tube and uh, I won't disconnect it, but I will drain the water. Uh, I will put the original foam that uh, for pack the tube into this chamber, so the tube will be well packed. But just be careful when you open it, and uh, do not bump on something. Okay, uh, and also this wiring for negative, a cooling tube for water, the high voltage one, some cooling tube. It's quite long because uh, I want to leave some space for packing because I need to lift up this tube a little bit. So once you have the machine, you can squeeze this thing under the somewhere to hide them. Okay. And once you have the cooling, you will see this is a cooling unit. This is a cooler. Basically, it's a water tank with a fan inside and some alarming. Now, oh, power is off, we cannot switch on. Um, it needs to be connected, the wiring tube. And generally, you will see it's two sets. Uh, the water in, connect to water out, and the water out, connect to in. Because for the laser cooling, the cooling water must be come inside from the bottom of the tube, then fill up the tube and come out from the top of the tube. Otherwise, if you re reverse direction, it will become waterfall and a lot of air will be inside and your tube will be die quickly. So another one is a signal cable connect to there. This is uh, for the warning signal sent into the machine. And of course, this is power you connect to the machine. Do not directly connect to your power outlet. Of course, if you want to do that, you can do that. It's not a big deal. The second thing is uh, um, called air pump. It pumps air for your cutting so the smoke won't go inside your terminate your lens. And uh, you can see it's uh, a soft tube eventually connect to the air in. Doesn't have air out because air out from the nozzle. Okay. Uh, here have some connect earth. If your power is not earth, you can earth from here. Generally in South Africa, we do not need. In Namibia, I do not know. Uh, this is a power machine barcode. You can verify it. Okay. This is the main switch. You can switch off, switch on. And the second one is actually for the air pump. And the third one is for the fan. Okay, fan unconnected, but I did not connect the ducting hose. The ducting hose, one side is inside, you need to drag it out and connect to here with a clamp, hose clamp. Where is the hose clamp? Uh, is the hose clamp. Uh, this is some other accessories. Eventually, I will put inside a toolbox like that for you. Okay. 
And then they, what did I say? Oh, the ducting hose connect to here. And the other side is uh, from there, connect to another hose. Then this is stretched by quite long. And then you can blow the smoke to your labors or something. Okay, now it's convenient time to show this some accessories for you. Uh, this is two hose clamp. And this is a handle because we're gonna send the machine to Namibia, so I took it off. It's uh, on top of here. Uh, so the machine won't have a handle, so they do not have chance to bump it off. So you put them later. Uh, this utility disc or disc which have the drivers and uh, some other stuff. And this actually is a plug. Uh, we, re we normally do not give, but uh, just in case you one day you want to buy a rotary attachment and uh, you do not have wiring, so I give you one for free. Yeah. And here is uh, a tool, uh, it's some masking tape on top. Let me remove it. Okay, you can use it to open the lens. Uh, some generally three size spanners for not for spanners, Allen key for you alignment the lens, or alignment the, the laser beam. Okay, this is an Edis plug, quite common in South Africa for surge protection. Normally we give one, and uh, while it's connected to the power, we use this one. But I don't know if your Namibia is gonna fit, so I just leave here. If you wanna connect, you connect. And this is a spacer, because we are gonna take the steel tube off. While the tube is off, you put it back, this is to determine the right distance from the head to the first mirror. Uh, generally 30 millimeter, if you do not have this. Uh, okay, some acrylic, actually it's acrylic sheet, about one millimeter for doing alignment. Uh, some double side tape for your convenience. Okay, that's just uh, every other thing I need to give to you. Okay, here, let me, let me put the cover back. Looks proper. Oh, before I put the cover back, I just realized one thing. The ball screw for the Z-axis is actually protected by some uh, clear wrap. You need to remove it, huh? otherwise it will stuck while you turn the table down. Okay, because it have some oil, so protect it. I do not know how long this machine gonna be on the road to Namibia. Oh, here I have another drawer for the table if something falling down. Okay, now we have the machine cover back. Let's look around. So it's very common on the large side, and this is the tube. Uh, generally, you need to close this thing uh, and uh, this is a 80 watt tube and turn on. so that's is your tube and then that's the lights okay let's put start the machine first you make sure the switch in the back is uh, on and the other plug is plugged properly and here is to connect the main power uh, with that power surge plug you should put on. And uh, here is uh, the emergency switch. Generally when you receive the machine, most likely it's done. So turn it, make it popping out. And uh, this is the first switch for, for the cooling. This second switch is for the air pump. Third one is for the fan. This one is a USB for flash drive. Now I'm using to charge my phone, okay. Temporarily, and this is a current gauge. This is a control panel. Yeah, this is the button we need to push. Okay, now the machine is booted, and and uh, you will see it says the system. If you can see starting, please wait, and then this one still starting to move. Once it uh, started, okay, it will reset. To original position, okay. And uh, now 
This button is on, is for the cooling. You can see the lights indicate right. If the light is red color, then your laser will be cut off. The machine is still moving, but uh, the laser won't come out. That's for demonstration. Here is a tube for the water. If I press it, it will, its water will stuck. Of course, you can hear the the uh, cooling unit also beeping. Uh, let's just in case you switch off the scene for the cooling. Of course, the lights will source on, and the noise is gone. Okay, and the laser won't work. Uh, laser machine work. Laser won't work. Okay, generally it's on all the time. Uh, unless for a long time you do not want to use the machine, you can switch it off. This is air pump. Once you have it, you will see. Let me move this a little bit. You can see the air from. Okay, probably cannot see. Uh, the air come out from here. Oh, you still cannot see. Anyway, believe me, the air come out from the nozzle. Uh, and depress this one, it's off. And the third one is for the fan. Uh, it's quite noisy, this scene. And uh, uh, you can see it's blowing the air to the other side. Anyway, let me switch it off. Oh. Okay, now back to the machine. Uh, this is the lights. Uh, we was have a switch to put it on and off. But nobody use it, so we take it off now. Now it's permanent on. We also put another decoration light underneath. Uh, Why are we cutting? Actually, it's a little bit smoky underneath. It looks quite fancy. Uh, now you have motorized table. Uh, let's come with this panel. Generally, you press escape key quite several times. You will see nothing be selected. If you press enter, it will start to select it something. If you select it, the button is to move the selection it, if you press escape key lots of times nothing will be selected then it's move the the nozzle and so see here how you movement Let's see move to this side it's an automatic stop uh, because it's you know the current position uh, so go that side this side go the back come this side yeah something like that of course, you press the x, y equal to zero, it will reset the machine to origin position. Uh, you can see this actually the sensor. Let me move a little bit. You can trigger it by a metal piece on top. You see this is sensor for the x axis. If it's not stopping, means the sensor may be damaged or not connected. And this is a y sensor, and uh, you will see it's also long, off, on. And this is the sensor for Z-axis for literal use for autofocus. Okay. Um, generally, panel how to use, you just uh, read the menu. And uh, Z-axis is moving by lower the table. I do not want to lower too much because uh, otherwise it's gonna, gonna stuck of the clear wrap. Uh, I think let me take this cover out. Okay, I will remove the cover. I just want to tell you that uh, if you lower the table and uh, the here have actually have a limit switch so the table won't continuously come down that uh, bump on the bottom it's a safety switch and on the top uh, it also have a switch that if it goes up let me show you how it goes up if I press the button it will go up, up, up eventually will trigger that switch so the table will stop. But uh, when you do this, make sure uh, your head not goes to down, otherwise bump right. Now here is flat, you can have the sliding through of the boards. Okay. Now next thing is how to do the autofocus. Let's assume you have a board. I put a polystyrene so it won't damage the bed. So when you get the machine, that still looks new. And uh, we currently use a five round cone for trigger the sensor you see we was have a special aluminium pad but people complain it's get missing quite easily so now we use five round i believe it's also very easy to missing but at least you can find the replacement easily oh probably not in Namibia. oh okay you figure out 
or buy one from us, 50, 50 bucks each. And now you basically need to place it underneath the sensor. Uh, just become a habit every time trigger it, see if it's working, otherwise uh, it won't stop. Uh, it won't really damage the lens because this thing will be totally pushed up and the sensor of here will stop the table. Okay, now you put it underneath, then you press this Z equal to zero. Z dash zero, sorry. Then it's just starting to raise up and the trigger the sensor will go down and will stop. Actually, it's also the same kind of process, you use this 20 millimeter spacer. Now you can see here is 20 millimeter. That's a good good position. So if you do not have fire rent, make sure you have something thin thickness. Otherwise it won't be accurate. But if you're really facing a problem, ask me so I can tell you how to change the setting of the machine. Or you align it manually. Okay, here is how you to do it manually. Let's put this here. You can see, probably you cannot see. Let me put this higher. Uh, okay, something like that. Uh, let's change it from this angle. Hope you can see. Uh. Okay, this is sensor. This actually is a blue light. Let, let, let me try to tell you how, what it's for. Uh, here is a nozzle from the air. Air is come from here. And uh, you can turn a knot here. Turn it. Then here will lose. So you can also use this one to manually do the uh, do the focus because this uh, lens inside is 63.5, so inside is uh, 33.5. So outside is no inside is 43.5. Okay, at the 20 63.5. So this is distance. You manually you can lower this until it touch the lock a lot because if you use sliding through then you can hear the board, the table won't make autofocus because this thing won't go upside down. Only this part go upside down. This part, not this part. Okay, now uh, what I want to do, I want to take it out, okay? Uh, then once this is loose, you can see it's up, down. Then you can turn here to unlock it. Turn, 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 keep turning. Uh, turning, 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 turning. Okay, now technically we saw this is uh, called nozzle. This is called lens holder. Let me take it out. Okay, uh, inside of lens, uh, if you can see. Uh, I believe you can see. Okay, and uh, this is a sensor. Uh, we also put the sensor top surface against this edge, so if this is uh, moved, it also won't be so accurate on the autofocus. What you do is losing the screw and adjust it. And here is adjust the light. Uh, here is the uh, air. You can actually, if you want to remove it, you turn this nut. Okay. Uh, generally, this thing you do not need to replace. It will be maybe will burn to black someday, but uh, you just wash it. It should be fine because we do not we never have people buy this thing. We just have lots of dead stock on this. Maybe you should buy one. Okay, now this is a lens holder. Uh, bottom position is 63.5, and top position you see that double lens double position. And it's for 101.2 uh, or something. Okay. Uh, of course, when I show you a tool uh, earlier, you actually use, use a tool to turn. Use a tool to turn. But now it's loose. I can just use a finger. Anyway, let me put it back. Otherwise, if you need a lot longer lens, it will give you a deeper cut, but uh, it will be cannot cut a tougher material. You can buy the lens from us. Inside here is lens. Uh, it's quite dirty actually. Uh, if you not turn on the the air when you cut in, easily get dirty because the smoke will be inside. Uh, how you clean it? You take it out, clean it, use a uh, um, spirit, the hundred percent one. Do not use anything with water because the water stuck inside. Then use the air earbud, uh, not cotton bud, not earbud, cotton bud, 
then use a circular motion from center to outside. Just like clean your glasses. Okay. And uh, the lens have the curved side and the flat side. The flat side put into inside first because the edge is flat. Use flat against flat. It's not easy to crack. And do not tie too much or you may be crack it. Uh, actually, either side will, will work exactly the same. But uh, we normally suggest people put a f flat side against the flat side. Okay, that's it. Now let's put it back. Okay, I didn't clean the lens for you. Huh? You clean yourself. Now let's put it back in. I think I should get a GoPro camera if everybody asks me doing this. Okay, and then knock the nut, nut, nut. Okay. Okay, here, let me put uh, my phone back. The spacer. Okay, I think probably you do not have fiber in Namibia, so let me give you one. Okay, you owe me fiber. Uh, here we do autofocus. Okay, we done autofocus. Here you can see several buttons. Uh, menu, of course, it's press menu, so several different settings. Check the menu yourself. Laser you press, they will have laser shoot out. Uh, now let me tell you what we do. Okay, let me put this cover back. Ah, the steel plates we use actually is uh, as thick as possible. It's quite heavy. Ah, just the heat on my feet. Mm, okay. What I want to say, oh, you, you maybe put something underneath the, the nozzle, and then you do autofocus. And then you actually can press the yellow button, it will shoot the laser, because it will shoot the laser for the kind of thing, change angle, something, okay. Um, the the actually will make a little dot, and uh, the la blue light is an indication where is the laser gonna shoot. There have some misconception, and we get a wood board, so probably looks better. Uh, there have some misconception is uh, laser must shoot at where the blue where the the blue dot is. Actually, it's wrong is you shoot the laser and adjust the blue dot to where the uh, laser is to indicate where gonna land it of that laser uh, why we don't have shoot out hmm. okay just wait let me go get a shoe power hmm, okay i found a small piece of shoe power Let's do the alignment again. Uh, is basically is put underneath, press this, it's all the focus. So it's put underneath and if you press the you can see it's have a little dot. And let me try it again in position. You see? Okay, and actually what you need to do is to adjust this light on where the mm, dot is. Okay. Um, basically, this is the laser tube. And you may see, press this button, you will see it's, it's light up inside. See, something like that, yeah, longer. And uh, oh, and it will become a very big dot, I believe. Mm. Okay. Um, I want to disconnect the tube for you, but in future, if you want to change the tube, you need to do is, of course, remove the water. Uh, basically, you drain the water in the bottom first, otherwise you unplug here, water will be everywhere. You remove the water this side, remove the water this side, because you are 80 watt tube. Huh? Different tube actually connecting method is a little bit different, but principally is the, on the positive side you connect to a wiring that comes out from the power supply uh, generally we joint is here you can see inside 
is uh, use soldering, do not just twist, use solder. Uh, and this must be protected with something. Uh, if you do not have something, use a high insulation tape. If you do not have high insulation, high voltage insulation tape, use regular insulation tape a lot of times. And this side is a negative one. You can see we already joined somewhere here. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you just squeeze this in some. You can pull from bottom, so put it inside. Uh, looks more proper. Uh, and also, this uh, you need to remove. Uh, I think common sense. Uh, you remove the protection clear wrap. Okay. No, oh, and this tube is. Uh, uh, I think you, when you see it, it's definitely removed. It's uh, it's uh, here. Now it's it's removed. You strap it down from here just like that okay then you adjust the mirror 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 for the alignment uh, that's totally a totally different course I'm not going to do it now okay and uh, once you do not use the machine you can leave the cooler which is that thing consume more power than the machine itself now after this, this is a uh, first night or something. It's not a really power consumption a lot. Inside is LED, not consume power a lot. This one, they actually after a while will become dark because uh, they have a setting called um, protecting the screen. They will become dark. You, if you you can change the setting, make it bright all the time, but it may damage very quickly. Not quickly, maybe sometime. Um, okay. Generally, if you do not use the machine, you can leave it like that. Uh, at least looks alive uh, or you totally can switch it off press this button and uh, for a long time if you not use of course you switch the main switch in the back and the emergency switch is for something that uh, not supposed to happen happen you just press it okay now here I have another two switch probably you're confused is actually for the rotary attachment. You didn't buy one, I know. So I bring one here for demonstration purpose. It's not yours. If you didn't see it in it, don't blame me. Okay, you plug in here. And basically just turn the direction. The only one direction can plug in. And uh, it will replace the Y axis by flipping the switch. Currently, if you move, you still move the Y, y axis. X axis continuously work. Now, if you flip the switch, the X axis still work, but the Y axis won't. You see, some place have noise. It's this thing. See? So, this one will ro rotate. This is a center drive rotary attachment. Uh, you can also use the surface drive or rotary attachments. Okay. So it's become the rotary, and this side you can actually push because the motor is loose now. So you lower the table, put the rotary attachments inside, and uh, you push the country to locate in the center. Of course, you should put that about a line in the center, and then this uh, x axis still remove, and uh, the, it will rotate. So you can cut something that uh, cylinder object. Okay, just realize the thing. And um, for example, now the switch actually is uh, for rotary attachments. I unplugged, and the machine's here. For example, your machine is just reboot, or you press the reset, it will starting to move. You can see now only X axis move, Y axis is not moving, and it still says, uh, if you can see daytime, and uh, it means reset, and um, forever. We're stuck here forever because the machine always try, trying to move the one to find the limit switch, which is that one. That one. That's the, that one. Okay, but now cannot find. Now it's stuck in here. Actually, the reason is that you flip to the rotary. Okay. Um, mm, of course, basically solving this, you switch it off, flip the switch back, switch on. Uh, but I want to show you is to if you trigger this manually. You see, it's become normal, uh, but generally don't do that. It's uh, it's uh, tricky. See, uh, you flip the switch back. Now you can see your Y axis still back. Of course, press reset. 
You press reset, actually should move. Let me show you again. If it's in the center or somehow, they, when you press the reset, they should move in both directions to that corner. If you only see X is moving, Y is not, uh, most likely you flip the switch. Okay. Okay, here I want to demonstrate some other thing. Um, first is this called test button, if you can see. Focus, focus, uh, test button. And I currently have a file. Mm, I think it's from the factory, it means uh, curvature. So if we press test button, the machine will go an area to indicate what area can I use for this kind of job. And we can press start. It will start, but nothing happens because the light is being off. Of course, you press stop or press the start again, it will pause actually. You press it will continue. And you press stop, uh, that's seriously stop. Now let's start this again. We switch on the one, now it's become working. And uh, the air pump. Okay, and then we start this job again. I think now actually it's different. It's cutting a little thing. I think it's a wave. Um, okay, on the out one, just let's stop here. Um, why I put a uh, foam in the back is to protect the table, okay? Let's just uh, switch this off. Uh, now I put my computer here. You know, I do not really have a table here, so I put on the cutting table. So I tell you how to connect uh, with the computer. Of course, you can save the file and place it inside here the flash drive. Um, of course, you can also use to charge the phone. Very handy. Actually, I need to charge the phone too. Okay, or second way is you connect uh, the computer by here. I will give you a cable. Um, if you want to connect her with the network cable, actually you go there in the hole underneath, you can see. Actually you can go the cable up and uh, connect to the board of the network cable. Now it's... Uh, where is the USB cable? Here somewhere. Okay, you connect the cable to your computer. Okay, and uh, if you open it, where is the mouse? If you open, uh, I think this is horrible shooting the screen. You will see a device come out. Uh, name doesn't matter. Just you see, unplug it to go unplug it in, so you know it's it is. And of course, if you first time install, you probably will see it's unknown device. If okay, there's a utility disk you were received with your purchase. Uh, uh, of course, you will have one is a little bit different because this is how I make them, so I have some extra files. Anyway, you go there, you will have the two cast sealed laser. Actually, all our machines, software is here, but some of you need a license to run. And uh, your one is a 2016 model. And of course, this is a driver, where is the driver? It's a machine USB driver. If you cannot uh, find that device, it's on the one you install this thing, okay. Uh, the, where is it? Oh, here. And then inside you find your size. Uh, not your size, your machine size. And uh, it's this one. You click set up to cut software. Uh, of course, very quick. It will just place a shortcut to your desktop. So, if we already saw, thought about, you should copy this folder to somewhere your own computer, otherwise you have to stop your CD inside all the time. Now if you go to desktop, uh, why let's go this top this way, let me close this. Now this is desktop, you will see you have a shortcut on your desktop, just double click it. This one is new version, no need to dangle, you can run as many computers as you like. You see that that's the interface. The rest part, I think you just need to read the manual. Okay, that's basically everything about this machine. And uh, what? 
And uh, once you receive the machine, several things you need to be noticed. Um, I probably will stuff all these accessories inside the machine underneath. So you need to take the cover off. Uh, and this is the legendary apron. And uh, um, remember, you must feel the water. If you not feel the water and switch on, then no the warranty. Huh? You're gonna damage this thing. Feel the water until the until top. And uh, if uh, generally there's three thing happens, this thing will beep. The first is uh, water not flow. The second is uh, temperature is too high. Currently 11. Oh, it's quite cold. You see, I'm doing your big favor. It's quite cold. Third way is uh, uh, the water level low. You see, it even says. Do not switch on the machine without water. Oh, prohibited the machine start of oh, no water. What kind of crap translate? Uh, okay. Now, of course, you have a switch. You switch it off, and lights is on. See how safe it is. Mm. And just uh, remember, use the uh, purified water. Um, you know, like that steel water you buy at the shop is fine. Do not use sparkling water, do, you, do not use mineral water, definitely don't use coke. Uh, and uh, do not put any funny stuff inside the water, purified water is good. Do not put some coolant or something that handy freeze, nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't put anything inside. And uh, change the water like uh, every month, uh, because it will become dirty. I have no idea why it's going to become dirty, but it will become dirty. And uh, the drink is from this plug. And the air pump, uh, technically somewhere here have a filter, but nobody cares. Okay, the f and also put some wet or something soft underneath the fan and the pump. Otherwise, we starting to use, they were starting to work. Okay, and the laser tube, uh, when you open this one, when you receive the machine, when you open it, be careful, because uh, just in case it's everything falling down. Uh, of course, I will some tape to secure it, but just in case. And make sure, when you start the machine, do not shoot the laser. Make sure, sure all the air bubble is out. Almost every air bubble. Sometimes if it's really struggle, you first always change your water. Yes, your water is dirty. They should be very much low bubble at all. Okay. The little tube is three layer. Most inside is actually high pressure CO2. The outer layer, that is water, the most out is uh, vacuum. So you cannot really feel it's hot, but uh, you can see the temperature rise quickly if you cut a lot. Um, and uh, if you have problem with the bubbles, you can try squeeze it like that. Or you can just, uh, just untie this, lift one side higher. Or change the water, because you see our water is quite good. No bubble at all. Okay, and this side, uh, this, you are 80 watt tube. If you buy a higher watt tube later, uh, the structure will be different. I think this side has some protection, but 80 watt is not that horrible. But still, don't play with it unnecessarily. Uh, don't kill yourself when you want to buy the second machine. Then. And this uh, one, we're gonna take it off for transport purpose. Uh, you just uh, take put it back and uh, put it back. You want to plug around because uh, the direction only one way. Um, yeah, something like that. Nothing fancy. I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let me think something else. Okay. This machine has the uh, foot pad and the wheel. Uh, when you settle down the machine, you lower the foot pad. You do not need to necessarily level the machine because. Uh, uh, even you have some angle, the tube also have some angle, everything has an angle, so it's not really matter, it still work magically. Uh, you should use foot pad to make sure the machine won't move in, especially, you know, when you when you cut in, the nozzle is moving left and right, your whole machine may be a little bit swinging like that. Okay, you will see. So put the foot pad down, and uh, they have one nut for lock, uh, you can figure out. Okay. Uh, and uh, the rest is, uh, you see like all oh, this panel is to check something, adjust something. You can pull it here to remove it and put it back. And the uh, alignment is uh, 
Ah, no, I don't want to tear alignment. Okay, I think that's it. Enjoy your machine. And let me give a wide angle.